Zoids was a pretty cool show that aired back in the late 90s and early 2000s. Unfortunately, it never gained much traction here in the West, and being a fan of it today is pretty difficult. Luckily, there's a company called Kotobukiya that still makes these high quality model kits you can import from Japan. So today I thought we'd check them out and go over the basics of constructing one. This one here is called a gun sniper, and of the three I have, it's the smallest one. But these things can get pretty massive and complicated if you're willing to pay out the extra money for them. Here's the instructions. They're pretty confusing, and it doesn't help that they're entirely in Japanese, but if you go slow, you should be able to figure it out. Right, let's get started. In cutting sprues, you're going to want to cut away from the piece and not directly on it. And then once it's off the sprue, you can just go back and snip off the excess and then clean it up with the knife afterwards. Higher quality nippers will offer you a bit more leeway for this. But still be careful, especially when cutting certain colors of plastic though. If you're building a gunplay before, all this is going to sound pretty familiar, but there are some quirks you might want to keep in mind. The most notable one is that most of these kits are pretty old. Like the date on this one's sprue is from 2009. That's not that old in comparison, but generally speaking, Zoid model kits based off of the first anime Chaotic Century will be a lot harder to build than models that came from later series like New Century Zero. The most notable example is the Blade Liger from the first series is notoriously difficult, while the Liger Zero from New Century Zero is much more beginner friendly. But unlike Gunpla, a lot of these kits are going to require a ton of glue. So if you don't like gluing things, you might want to avoid these altogether. Moving on, the Gun Sniper came with a few different build options. You can go with the orange visor like normal, or you can go with the clear version if you prefer that better. There was also Runner B, I believe it was, where you can choose between the armored silver parts or more of a blue uniform look. Alright, one of the more signature little details that Zoids have are these poly caps. They don't really do anything, but I guess it just helps them make it look more like a robot. We're going to cover panel lining in a second, but just know that I didn't panel line these in black, I used gray instead. Alright, panel lining is really important, and I suggest you don't skip it, even if you don't want to put that much extra effort into it, I think it's worth doing. These markers are like five to seven bucks, I think. And all these little indentations, you just want to run your pen through them. And, uh, can't really see it on camera, but it's there and it makes a big difference. So here we're going to transition into a montage of some of the highlights of the build. And then we'll come back and I'll talk about decals and a little review of the finished model.
All right, so as far as I know, every Zoid is going to come with one of these sheets of paper. These are water slide decals, and they're kind of like stickers, but they're much cooler. So what you want to do is just get the sticker you want and get it wet. Then put it on your desk and let it soak just for a few seconds. While I'm waiting, I like to take a cotton swab with some rubbing alcohol and clean off the area that the sticker is going to. If there's any oil or dirt on this, it's not going to stick at all. Before too long, you're going to notice that the decal is no longer stuck to the piece of paper. So just take the back of your hobby knife and gently transfer it over onto the piece. Once it's there, you can kind of manipulate it and make sure it's in the right location. Once you're happy with where it's at, just take a cotton swab and gently go over the top of it to soak up any extra water. I don't know if other people do this, but I just take a brush with some matte varnish on it and go over the decal with it. Though you might have more luck with the spray if you're willing to take it apart. But Blake, didn't you say this was a gun sniper? Where are the guns? Here's a few pros and cons on the model. I'm glad I was able to make a Zoid video. I like them very much, so I hope they keep making them for a long time. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you'd like, please consider sticking around, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.